What's up everyone, it's Christian. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Today's video is going to be my most used designer purchases that I've made so far this year. The things that I find myself using quite a lot and I have, I guess, back at it and I didn't think I made that many designer purchases this year, but as I was pulling things from my closet of the things I know noticed that I've worn a lot this year, there's a lot more than I thought there would be. I do have four items from Christmas last year which technically would count as last year, but because I got it five days before the month ended, the usage of those items would have been this year, and they are some of the most used things in my collection, period. So I figured I would throw those in at the end and show you what I got for Christmas last year that I've used a ridiculous amount this year. I think I'm gonna start off with jewelry. I have my Jonathan Other jewelry box right here, and I'm gonna pull some pieces for you guys that I have used quite a lot this year. Now, there's just two things in here at the moment that would be from this calendar year and then one item that would have been from Christmas last year. So I'll show you that one item last. I picked up my first ever watch. It is a Cartier Santos in the small size. It's a discontinued size. It is a size that they, I think they stopped making it a couple years ago. I got it at the Road Rail in October. This was my birthday present to myself. My birthday's in September, but it took me a month to get it. I figured everyone needs like a good watch and it's my first watch and I never really liked watches because I didn't like how bulky they were, how chunky they were. I have really small wrists. Most of the time watches just don't really work out for me. And I've always wanted the Santos. And then I found the Vintage Collection, which the back looks continuous. So it's like a jewelry piece rather than a watch. And I feel like this would be the perfect piece to start my watch collection off with. And this made me fall in love with watches. And it's the perfect size. And I think that I would probably do around this size for any watches in the future. And yeah, it's technically a woman's watch. But it just suits me so, so much more. So that is my Santos. I went to the Taylor Swift Aero Store this year in March, and the show day, I picked up the Jusson Inca, Jusson Ancre ring from Hermes, which is just an anchor, and it shows the anchor points that are around the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. And this reminds me of Taylor Swift. It's also very nautical. I'm from Florida, so I like very nautical things and it just matches the vibes that I was looking for perfectly. I wear it on this finger. It also fits, I, my fingers are pretty much all the same size, but they're all really small. It also fits on my middle finger and it fits on this finger over here. Hi, Luca. That is the Hermes Jusson Onco ring and a size, I believe, 54. Yeah, 54. My ring finger is a 51, so. It's these two fingers are the only ones that are different sizes than these three. Like, pretty much these three fingers are all the same size or very close. So, like, say the same, a 54 will fit on all four. Some will be tight and some will be loose, which is normal. So, they're not all, like, the exact same size, but they're pretty close. Next up would be shoes. They are my most worn thing because, like, ever, because I wear them every day. So, in... April, I got my first pair of Golden Gooses, and I never really liked Golden Gooses because I didn't like the stitching on it, and then I found these Golden Gooses that didn't have the stitching, were just white. I've been looking for just white shoes. I don't remember how dirty they came, but they're very dirty now. Because <laughs> um, as you might know, Golden Gooses come pretty dirty. I just don't remember what dirt I did and what dirt it came with. So... These I've worn pretty much every single day until I picked these up in May, which I know was only a month. They are the Balenciaga, I forget what these are called, but they're just regular like gym shoes. These are so comfortable. I got them in a Nordstrom sale. They were like 500 bucks on sale. I've worn them so much that the tag is like peeling off and I've pretty much worn these every day. If I wear black jeans or black clothes, I wear these. If I wear white shorts or lighter colored clothes, I wear these. And I go back and forth between those two pretty much every day. There's, I have a lot of other shoes and I don't really wear any other shoes. I picked up the, I sold a lot of shoes this year too. I sold, well, I sold a lot leading up to that watch because I really wanted the watch and I just had so many clothes 
Maybe I'll go through what I sold this year also, because I just had so much clothes that I wasn't wearing, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear a watch all the time, so I'm gonna sell this. So I sold both my triple S's, I sold my Hermes slides, I sold both my Izmir's. One of them fit me, one of them gave me the worst rashes on my feet, like blisters, and I still have the blisters, and I got them in Hawaii in August. So, <clears throat> I was sticking away from those. I also got the Shipri sandals, but they were two sizes too small. Um, I thought that maybe they would work, and they didn't. <laughs> so I have to go back and get my actual size. But I have to be re-offered them in my actual size. I was offered them. When I asked for them, they had two sizes too small. And I was like, eh, let me take it. Let me see if that works. I'm just going to wear them to the pool anyway. Didn't work, so I sold those. And pretty much those are the only two shoes I've worn. There's another pair of shoes that I got for Christmas last year that I wear every single night like clockwork. Like these are my day shoes. And then I have my night shoes because I'll wear specific shoes when I go out and they ended up becoming clubbing shoes. They have been utterly ruined by the club and by going out. I've like hiked miles of New York blocks in these shoes and like done so many crazy things in these shoes. Somehow they've, they've lasted and I love them so much and I will always love these shoes. But I'll show those at the end because those are technically last year. I also picked up in May these Rude shorts. And I wore them a lot for from May to about September. And then I just was kind of over them. I might sell them, honestly. I haven't worn them since September. And I just, I wore them like every day around the house for like six months straight. And I've worn them out and they look good with a white t-shirt and I've worn them a lot. But I just don't really see myself wearing them that much anymore. Actually, Will has an off-white jacket that's right here that they kind of match perfectly. So maybe I will try to pair them better. I don't know. I don't know if I want to sell these yet. I just don't find myself wearing them as much as I was and that is on me. But let me let me know what you guys think about these because I don't know if I want to keep them. Um, but I will listen to your opinion. Next up for shorts would be the Vilberkan bathing suit. Vilberkan is my favorite bathing suit company. It fits me just so flawlessly and I don't think I'll ever buy a different bathing suit. Um, I had a navy blue one that was stolen from me by my ex and so I had to go buy a new pair and I really wanted the black because I have a black beach cover up. I showed it yesterday um, in my Skims haul portion of that video. And I've, well, I've been using an All Saints black button up, but I got an actual beach cover up one. And then I ha had the black Izmir's and the black Shepra sandals. So I have to get new black sandals, but um, I want a black Birkin 40 and black towels and I used to have like this is Will's I used to have like the Hermes pillow and towel set but um I didn't really like the blue I want to go all black I feel like that would look the best so I have to get that at some point but this is the only bathing suit I own I want to get it in white too I feel like that'd be cool but um literally the only bathing suit I own and I love swimming so I'm constantly in bathing suits next would be tops I picked up this Dior get the designer it's Kim Jones x someone, but Daniel Arsham? No, that's a different one. Maybe. Oh, Raymond Shiburn? Raymond something. I loved this collection when it came out. It was my probably my favorite Dior collection, and I really wanted to get a tattoo that said broken in this font, but my mom told me I was crazy, so I didn't. But I loved this font. I had this in a hoodie years ago that I bought on eBay, and it ended up being fake, and that like broke my heart when I found out it was fake, and it was like, I found out it was fake because I tried to sell it. Um, I was financially struggling at the time, so I tried to sell it, and the real world told me it was fake, and I was like, what the fuck, I got this on eBay. And I thought eBay would be like, nice, like I'd be like $400 for it. And so I like, went to PayPal and tried to, but it was already past the 180 days, and I was like, well I just lost $400 there, and I threw away the hoodie, so I don't really do fakes. Which was really annoying, but I found this one on the Real Real this year in not the hoodie version, the sweater version, which I kind of like better because you can actually see this instead of a hood covering it. Um, I found it for like $180. And it has a few marks here and there, but like 
For $180, I will gladly take that back because I basically paid $580. <laughs> um, I picked this up in March. It's an off-white shirt. I've worn it a lot in the summer, but I haven't worn it really that much since October because it's getting really cold out and so I'm wearing a lot of long sleeves, a lot of sweaters, a lot of jackets, but I got this I think in April or March and from April or March until October I wore it all the time, like all the time. This is the Mugler H&M collection. I picked this up in May. I've worn this so much. I love this collection and I want to continue buying things from this collection. Like this I wore to EDC. I wore it to several different red carpets. I've worn this so much. This is the Swarovski Crystal Sparkly Mesh. It's so itchy and I've worn, I wore it while it was raining. So I'm sure the crystals have lost some sparkle, but it, I still love that shirt and same with this one. And they're just like some of my favorite pieces. I bought way more from that collection that I didn't like originally when I tried it on. I bought the men's versions and I tend to like more feminine jean material clothing so I bought like the denim jacket and the jeans and stuff but I think that I would retry that with the feminine version. I also got the corseted hoodie in the men's and I would retry that I think in the feminine. I really liked that too. I don't know why I sold that. Oh it was no longer as tight anymore. The reason I sold the corseted hoodie is because it was no longer tight on my waist and I liked the fact that it was like suffocating me tight so I think I would have to get the women's one because it's less boxy and more triangular. Then I got this Dion Lee button up. Originally my plan was to wear this to the Aero store with my sparkly suit that you can see right here which I would put in this because I've worn that to like six to ten red carpets as well as the Aero store and uh but it's not like actually designer it's like a designer brand in Britain that custom made it for me um but this is a corseted white button up i love this shirt it looks so good on and i wear it with satin dress pants and like a leather trench and it just looks so good i love this i got it for the air store but it didn't work with the suit so then i had to pick up this dion lee mesh tank top which did work with the suit, and I do love it. It's also inside out, <laughs> I guess. So let me fix that, actually. But then I picked that up. I've worn this every time I've worn the purple suit, and since I can't throw the purple suit in here, I figured I would, we've got it figured out. There's a few designer pieces I bought this year that I haven't worn really much. Like I bought a Prada shirt and like a few other things that I just haven't really worn, and I've noticed that I haven't worn it, which sucks, I need, I need to wear those. Then at Coachella, I got these at the outlet, the Gucci outlet, which is next to Coachella. It's in Desert Springs, Desert Hills, Desert Hills. And um, I love these so much. I wanted these so badly when they released and I missed them because I couldn't afford them at the time they released. And then I found them in the outlet for $600 and I was like, because these were originally like two grand. So I love these. And they're a little too big, but I have to get them tailored. But that's fine. I don't mind them being too big because it kind of suits the vibe. So the last three pieces are pieces I got for Christmas that I've worn probably more than anything in this other than these shoes. These four pieces I wear nearly weekly, daily. Like two of these pieces I wear almost every day. One of them I wear probably a couple times a month. And a lot more than that whenever I first got it. And then the shoes I wear every night. So, first would be the Jean-Paul Gaultier XY Project sweater. I got this for myself for Christmas last year. I love this. This is the one thing that everyone wants to steal from my collection, and it's the one thing that if someone stole from my collection, I'd slit their throat. Like, I love this so much. And then same goes for this. Will got this for me for Christmas last year. This is my tripod for the slot channel. I need to get a bigger bag because it doesn't fit the slot channel tripod, but yeah, this, oh my god, don't even get me started with how much I've worn this, it, I mean, it makes sense, I wear it like it's not suede, first of all, which is scary, and I also wear it like it's not worth $100,000, so like, I'd be throwing that shit around, next is something I wear every single day, every day, no matter what, it is my Van Cleef and Arpels 
Um, Guy Lachey with one single diamond white gold necklace that Will got me for my anniversary last year. This collection was a collection I've always loved. I've always wanted the white Guy Lachey, and then I found the one with the diamond, of course, and I really loved that collection. I really wanted that collection, but I never thought it was possible because it's like four times the price of the regular one. And it just so happens that this collection is also the 2020 holiday collection where Will and I started dating in Christmas 2020. So it just signifies, and I don't even know if he meant to do it that way. I mean, he probably did, but I don't think he meant to do it that way. I think he just like knew I liked it. But I won't put it past him, he's smart. So maybe he did know purposefully that this was the holiday collection from the month we met. This I wear every day. I rarely ever take it off except to shower because I know that you can get gold and diamonds wet, but the Gila Shea, I don't want to chance it. Now y'all saw me unbox these on Christmas Lodger, what others got me for Christmas. One of my lovely friends who I've met through OnlyFans and YouTube got me these. And compared to how they came, these bitches went through it. They really went through it. They really went through it. Like the cork is coming off. But I love them. But if I wear them the way I'm gonna, the way I keep wearing them, like the toes are coming off. Like if I wear these the way that I keep wearing these, I'm gonna have to buy a new one every two years. <laughs> Which is gonna suck. So that is it for Vlogmas Day 7. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you guys tomorrow with Day 8. Back to our regularly scheduled vlogs. I'm trying to throw in a little sit down videos here and there. A little more talkative style. Because I don't really know how I'm supposed to be doing something every day. Like that's crazy. Sometimes I just want to sleep and like rest and like film a sit down video and then rest the rest of the day. I don't know how people do all these crazy things every day, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with day eight. Love you. Bye.